Dear enemy bot lane from my last game. To the Shaco support who made it his sole mission in life to be the most annoying D-bag I've ever seen. To the duo that exploited the fact that my support was first timing the new champ, as well as seemingly playing with a blindfold on and her keyboard unplugged. To the Vayne who cockily said we should just give up 5 minutes into the game. How's it feel? That wasting exorbitant amounts of my time playing your stupid mini games of hide and seek did nothing but kept me in lane long enough to witness this vein go all Renata Ratchet wreck at Ralph on herself and then still big boy banana bomb your baiting butt back to base. How's it feel? That even when you clearly wanted nothing more to do with me, I still found a way to keep our long distance relationship alive. So I just wanted to say, Thanks for feeding me enough to take down a fed level 18 kale before eating your zombie walking afk phony clown costume ass one more time. And also lick a tit. Sincerely, Rav. Okay so the observant among you viewers may have noticed in the last game where I taught the goggle wearing gosu fanatic a lesson about premature victory jizz bombing in chat, I was running a non-standard mythic on Ezreal, which I've been rocking in most games with some of the best success in solo queue I've ever had. And that's thanks to some shady Korean build site I found listing how current Korean player pros and one tricks are building champs to dominate their games, and considering NA and EU couldn't win a world's championship if they were the only two teams in the tournament, I have confidence that these builds are better than what I see people building in my region. So today when I saw two very unique builds in the bot lane, ADC Ari rocking a full crit build, the one covered in a recent Happy Chime video, and a Nico ADC shield bow on hit build that Dog Lightning on Twitch has perfected, I figured I would make a video showing just how abusive both of these builds can be against your meta ADCs, with added side plots that you won't want to miss, to prove that when it comes to certain things you just can't beat the Koreans, like K-pop, like KBBQ, like animes you name it, but I, I can't watch Korean animes, because I live in the USA. Who's there? I am. The Lord, Lord. You see you may be living in the USA, but Netflix now thinks you are wherever you say you are because of my giant VPN powers. Isn't it just, VPN? And because of my giant VPN powers you can connect to sites from anywhere in the world, taking advantage of content only available in some regions, and region discounted prices like nabbing the latest Steam titles that might be cheaper over in godforsaken Australia. WCF mate. Just take a look at Faceless Frankie, he's deep into his Mormon themed NFT selling business oblivious to who's watching him or how much they can see. Carbine. With the Lord Lord Frankie won't be getting the spanky from whoever dressed him, because he is protected from threats that might take his NFD business scale it pitch it on Shark Tank and run away with his dream. Now the Lord Lord is turning 10 this month which means two things, next year I will be enrolling at Hogwarts hashtag Hufflepuff and also there's a special offer for a two year plan one month free and a juicy gift that could be any of these. So get the powers of the Nord Lord by using the link below to try it out yourself. Now tell me more about this big PP, VN. Alright so as I mentioned the side story of this video would be covering the lore of my jungler, Poopy Piss, who upon locking in my ADC Ari was already holding up the white flag because with a name like that it was clear that this guy accepts no nonsense in his games but it's also worth mentioning that Poopy Piss had an almost sponsored enthusiasm for the summoner spell barrier. Anyways this lobby was in my own moron MMR so clearly a commencement ceremony of uncoordinated chaos was bound to ensue, Bandana Man gets flipped when he was clearly still checking his MySpace page, our team's beekeeper gets his foot stuck on the gas pedal and drives himself straight back to base, I attempt a flashy idea that works like a charm, and then Lee Sin sets a personal best of dying not once but twice before his first buff spawns and then we hit the sexy crime scene getaway where one person's yelling leave and the other wants more so just your typical silvery low start. That said Mr. Piss is already preaching the value his bitch bubble held in the battle of bot side red buff and I'm thinking about all the things I can do that a normal ADC can't like how I can blow a kiss at Dr. Clock with the flabby cock and have him mesmerized long enough to get stun slapped and sent back to base. Now I wanted to highlight some of Poopy Piss's backstory as he is definitely in line for best supporting cast in this vid as you see him get in a custody battle for Scuttle Crab with his sightless heartless ex-hubby where the supposedly sacred summoner spell does attend the event but kicking and punching prevail in this one. To which Poopy is like him, maybe move probably referring to her top laner that was ironically more blind than the monk she was fighting, but then deems the outcome of that fight a bug because Barrier is apparently undefeated in such dumb scattle battles. 
I get word that their mid laner is becoming known as the cutie with pink particle spell effects so either the mean girl's s jealousy or my confusing attraction to her sparks a roam where I lure her into quite the feather fucking which excites me so much I guess I just had to start dashing around like an alt wasting moron to calm down. But I can feel poopy pisses presence on this side of the rift so I line up a surprise engage, Whee! and then I tell my support that if he's looking for the spot that X marks, it's on that floating clock. The ghost of stupid shit's past comes over me and I position worse than a raw cucumber in an all-women's prison facility as I naively think that having the two to Zeri's one would prompt some knapsack slaps but Miss Piss makes like a fetus and heads out, to which she's all chipper about not even having to use her sacred shit spell while I'm thinking yeah that's cause your flea farts were the only thing you left for me to deal with that coked up Billie Eilish. But thank god she didn't use it because boy did it come in handy during the next fight, I see Mr. Muay Thai with no eyes in hot pursuit so my support and I hit morning synchronized skill shot missing practice as he drop kicks that ninja turtle into next week leaving just me and barrier fetish Bambi, which means I have to tickle Lee's pickle alone before hitting an escape from Tarkov where Tarkov is Zeri and this escape could have been named the great British bake off dash and flash bash as I survive one bard's fart from death. Ok lore update our mid thinks poopy piss is responsible for him feeding more than a mother of seven so miss piss brings facts into the argument only to get roasted like a chestnut by Zaya who is notorious for having the best comebacks in his 6th grade class. Drag is up but my teammates are more interested in the wild Pikachu who decides to season 12 champ a wall to safety so I plug in the new address on my GPS as my ward is like put me in coach. So I unbench that bitch and bam the blind kickboxer is being all surprise supersonic while I'm just trying to kill Jinx 2.0 in peace which I do before getting saved by the beekeeping bell as Heisman gets flipped and I hang tight before trying to land a dickhead ult to steal the kill 3000 combo only to come up shy. And apparently that outcome was all poopy and her barriers doing, so let's take a look. He did in fact chase down the fail dashing Duracell battery before hitting barrier and bowling a ball in the opposite direction of any enemy while taking off like a prom dress to go clear her wolves so yeah, basically it was all her. So then since I am cosplaying as an ADC I politely ask for red buff with what I thought would be a hard to pass up on offer for Miss Piss. We back in the southern swamp again and Lee kicks that degenerate deer into me before we all stop our fighting to say oh look how cute Scuttle is like he's some global pet before it resumes and I butter up the blind bimbo to get quill banged before I tell Billie Eilish that she might self-proclaim as the bad guy but we think she's the dead guy but Zillion wants her to be the alive again guy so I decide to be the dash over a wall show her my tits and then wish I wasn't building fucking AD on Ari guy but it all works out and once again, that win was all the doing of poopy piss who if you missed it got caught and kicked into the rest of the family, shielded a total of zero damage with barrier while running around like a startled animal on an interstate highway before eventually getting hit. Anyways I am stuck dealing with Miss Zone Bond Sparkles down here who tries to get post statue vandalism frisky with me but luckily my pike was getting montage footage which lets me blow a roofie's ridden kiss her way to take her down. By the way quick tip this Ari skin Elderwood Ari is totally pay to win because all of your spells look like charms so they never know when they are gonna fall in love unexpectedly and find themselves reincarnating in front of 5 foes, only to come back just as blind as before and gang bang back to base in the sequel of their slaughter. So I'm just trying to make a video but piss first name poopy is still stealing the spotlight saying, Dang if barrier was up I turn that. And to be honest I was starting to get annoyed by this hormonal electrode always being all zappy around me getting charmed and harmed on repeat but reviving courtesy of groovy grandpa over there so she comes back, Heather delivers the feathers and then I return the rift to its peaceful state before Zeri's release. Turns out the urination nation is dead and flaming pike for missing ours but in my mind that dead doc worker was doing a damn good job so I would never be the douche to highlight a missing an alt. Now in case you haven't been correctly instructed on how to play ADR here is a comprehensive guide. First you hang in the back and wait for the perfect opportunity to charm a minion. Your ult is your best weapon so use it to dash into a Lux ult which will help you feel alive as you pace back and forth to zip codes behind the World War 3 going on in front of you then when everyone is distracted you send a tit pick to the blind bimbo and boy he'll be wishing he could see or at least live and voila, you've done it. Oh and if one of those overweight orcs from Mordor gets in your way just hit him with more cc's than a bowl of alphabet soup and murder his dumb ass as well. Your teammates who are named after human waste may be getting caught out for the 65th time so unleash your charm, before delivering a totally, reasonable, amount of auto attacks for the kill on their Lee.
before seeing that pink particle pussy trying to steal your thunder once again so she needs to get got as well. I knew you would do that. Anyways the other team will likely be circle jerking the river worm so it's important you perform your jobs to perfection. Then you hit a dash into blind boy bash combo before informing Mr. Immortality Synth that his presence is no longer welcome here. And then you can reunite with the whole family minus Miss Poopy Piss who is just over here for some reason and that should prompt the fat FF in a game where even though it did not feel like it, you did a decent amount of damage. Alright game 2 I'm on the tie dive lizard with the cosmic ball sack as my support and the good thing about laning against a blitzcrank is that after he gives one person a handshake you can be reasonably confident that he won't be trying to shake yours so you can use this as an opportunity to tell Miss Eilish that you are more of a Lana Del Rey fan by cordially killing her. Now a rusty golem may gather no rust but a roaming one makes my nuts bust when I see a solo ADC so I fruit loop lady lightning bolt and then deem it a cool time to hit a colorful cannonball as the bardy boy hits the beam burst to base the broad with the bolts. That said I had a Zeri in my last game and I wasn't in the mood to hang more with any new champ that Riot August created so I head mid to give the rusty school bus a rusty trombone only to see they have another fucking zillion as well so I patiently time a splash stun to seat belt the revived piece of scrap metal and then when I see that clock cock overextend I hit him with a fruit loop ask my support to tie him to a wall and then we light him on fire. Sweeney Todd's daughter-in-law comes in naively thinking this is going to go any other way than a Geico agent pestering her to switch and save 15% on car insurance as my brand comes in to steal the kill. kill. Update there Zeri is a level 9 and I am a 12 so basically she is getting the full ADC experience in this one. Anyways I head mid because I want to make fun of how theirs isn't even allowed to buy shoes but then she pukes purple shit on the ground and I don't want to catch what she has so I flee only for that homicidal hairdresser to enter so I request to look like a star in the sky before I come back to reality shit my unborn twin out as a distraction and then come back for barred sloppy seconds. That said their blitz has our brand one Gary the snail sneeze away from saying sayonara but I guess the riot gods decided to all enter this poor supports chat and spam L plus ratio at the same time and if I was him, I'd be pissed too. Ok let's wrap this up kids this is how it ended first I outweighed the 200 years bubble then did a bit of on hit and shit on the blue barbie. We killed Medusa one more time, actually two more times, wait actually three more times, and then their poor Pikachu tried to get in one last ADC off but her tradition of being a useless shitter stayed true and with that I'd say Nico felt better than Ari and even though the fox is more trendy right now, I personally just found myself wishing I was AP on Ari but hey I'm just a hard stuck so, rav out. I'm hard stuck, that's what all the haters say, I'm hard stuck, giving all my LP away, I'm hard stuck, same rank different day, cuz low hell's my home and I'm here to stay.